Hi everybody, this is Josh. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Pages feature in Gravit Designer. Let's check it out. Before we jump into the real meat of this video, which is about using pages in your documents in Gravit Designer, what I'm creating is a set of business cards. I'm using the US standard business card size, which is three and a half by two, and I've set my document up to accommodate for bleed. Now, you, you do have a bleed feature in Gravit Designer, but we'll talk about that in videos to come. I've set this up in a very traditional way, making my document 3.75 by 2.25 or 0.125. That's an eighth of an inch on each dimension. So all the way around my document, I'm adding a standard eighth inch bleed. What I've then done is created a new layer, and I have it locked, that just shows me the actual size, which is three and a half by two with just a box with a white outline. So that's all I have going on. But here's the thing. I want to just do that once and create all of my business cards in one document. The scenario you might have encountered is you need to create a set of business cards for a company. Maybe it's your own company, your own business, and you have multiple employees or you have multiple sites or multiple of anything, rather than creating a single document for each different one, you can do that using pages in Gravit Designer. There are many different ways that you can use pages in Gravit Designer. This is something that I commonly run into when I'm working for other businesses. They need to create cards for their employees. And I want to show you how we can do that. All right, so here's what I've done. I've just set up one page just the default page. You always have one page. And the pages show up in the layers panel on the left-hand side. You can toggle that. So if you don't see your pages in here by default, just click this little tick arrow here and you'll be able to see it. I've given this the name C&G Master. This is for crepes and games. Now this is an actual company, but this is a fictitious card. So I've done a little bit of prep so that uh, we can really get into seeing how this works. What I want to be able to do is create a master card that will reuse all of the same elements, especially my logo and any colors or things that I want to have set and not have the, the positions move from card to card. And then I want to have dynamic content specifically for the name and phone number, the contact information that's going to change from card to card. So I'm going to set everything up on my first page that I do not want to move. I don't want it to change from card to card. All right, so let's do that now. I've created some symbols. By the way, symbols are fantastic, and so um, I highly recommend you check out the symbols video in my playlist. You can create a symbol with anything that you want to reuse. Symbols are also really cool because if you use them like buttons for UI design, you can change the master symbol and all of the instances of that symbol will be updated as well. It's a like using symbols in Sketch. All right, so I've created a symbol of just this rectangle shape here. I'm just going to drag it right onto my canvas and I want this to be on the left hand side. So I'm going to line it up. Then I have my logo here. I'm going to use this combination logo CNG with this dragon icon. And I'm also going to line this up and I'm going to make sure it centers on the page and it centers with my red shape here. So what this guide is helping me do here, this white box around this, that helps me know the very edge of my card. So I want to have ink that flows outside the edge and anything that I do not want to be trimmed, I want to have a little bit of margin around. And that's what I have here, about a quarter inch or about an eighth of an inch around my logo and that's fine with me now just that quickly you can set up a master card all right let's go back to our layers now and create a new page so that's all i'm going to do on my master i just want that red slant shape and my white logo to be on every single card so that i create a uh, a branded experience every time someone hands a, a card it always looks similar the only thing changing is the content the information the name the phone number etc so I'm going to create a new page right over here. All right, and over on the right hand side, I can choose what it's referencing as a master. Now I could copy and paste everything I have on this one. 
Let me just show you that real quick. So I'm going to copy, going to go to page two and paste. And you could do that. That's fine. But then you have that process that you have to do over and over and over again. So I'll go to page two, go over to masters, and I'm just going to say use the CNG master that I set up. And there it is. The other nice thing about setting master pages is that now on this page, it's a slave page, right? It's a child page. The CNG master is the parent. And I don't see any layers cluttering up my card here, and I can't even select it or move it while I'm on page two. I'm going to double click on that and rename it name one. I could name it the actual person's name. Okay. And then I have some content copied on my clipboard. I'm just going to do a control V to paste that right in. And so on this page, you see that over on my layers, I just have that text layer right there. That's the only thing that shows up because everything else on this card is referencing that master that I set up. So I could change the name here. Let's go ahead and just, I'll put in one. And let's go ahead and just make that red. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to copy this whole box. Copy. Okay. And I'll do this again. I'll create a new page. We're going to reference CG Master. Okay. You can see here I can also reference name one. And it'll just give me what I put on that particular page. So just name one. That's not what I want. I want the CG master. And then we're going to paste in our copy. I'll change this number here to two. Change my page name over here. Name two. And now I can toggle through these and you can see them change. So all of the information can be updated this way from one page to another which will make it incredibly easy and fast once you get it set up. You only have to set up one master, and then you can copy and paste your content, your text, and retype that. And like I said, you can add as much as you want to your master and leave off anything that you're going to want to be dynamic. You want to change it from card to card or from page to page. So this would work if you want to do a set of flyers maybe for different dates or different locations, uh, a set of pamphlets or brochures, a set of uh, business cards as we're doing here, different screens for UI design uh, where the master elements stay the same. Maybe it's a header and a footer. You can put those on one page and just reference that master page as you create new pages. So using master pages is really going to save you some time as well as improve your consistency by only having to mess with elements on one page. It helps create this modular system for your designs. I use this as well for iterating. Maybe I have one idea and I want to create a, no a new idea, but I don't want to lose the flow of having to save a document, open up a new document, set my canvas size again. I just create a new page and continue working. So check out the pages features and maybe ways that you hadn't before or didn't know about before and see what you can create. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.